Welcome to Double Time, the series where I take a classic video game and speed it up by two. Will I succeed, or will I fail? Let's find out. Hello everyone! This is Faltos, playing Kirby's Dream Land, the 77th game in the Kirby series. And it is the most extreme and intense of Kirby's adventures with some sinking drinky thingies and the ability to move at double time speed because for some reason Kirby controls the path of timelines. And here's a bod guy. A bod guy, you know, he has a big bod. You look at him hopping. Oh, he hopped into me and it's not good. No, no, no. And then I swallowed that guy, and he was appreciative of it, except that he died because he got sucked up by my massive gullet. And you don't want to get sucked up by a massive gullet if you don't want to die. Speaking of dying. Alrighty. This is going to go wonderfully, by the way, given the fact that I am, in fact, uh, made for adventure like this. Or you just be a lovable friend who just wants to absorb people into their gullets. Because that is what I am. Also, here's an area of the world. This is a game where up is fly, so you guys just be careful. Otherwise, you're not going to do too well at the whole um, being Kirby thing. This is also a game in the Kirby series where the only power is hot tamales. And they just make you spit out a bunch of air burps. Also, here's the first boss. His name is Wispy the Woodman. You, you just use the leaf shield on him and, he, and he's, he's no problem. You got that, folks. And we're done. And that's World 1. It's a very, very lengthy and difficult game, this, by the way. Welcome to Castle. This is this is a game. I mean, this is an area that uh that exists, and that cannon is gonna be problematic. There we go. Hello, Mr. Ghost. How you doing? Anyway, I haven't really. I am eating the bomb, and then I spat it out. But I haven't really um <clears throat> recorded much in the last couple days, and I apologize for that. I, I have my reasons. You can't do a duck slide in this game, by the way. Uh, also, I missed the stars, so uh, that's wonderful. Let's uh, let's go this way instead. Let's let's try and not have to deal with the star power, and instead slam my face into an enemy. Hello, sir, mask man. Okay, let's deal with this guy again, cause why not? There we go. Now, now there's a worry. Oh, by the way, here is a la 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 la. So you 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 just you know you hang out and you wait for the time to strike and then you strike. It's very complicated, but I'm sure that many of you can solve this mystery. I have done it. And now we're in this area. All right. Oh yeah, that's for my reasons. Uh, uh, existing. Existing is the main reason. <clears throat> yes. Also, here's the boss. Probably gonna die here, by the way, because uh, I, 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 I have only, I, on, I have only such a, such a fast metabolism rate that I can't deal with these guys, uh, being them. Okay, I got a hit in. I hope you like this music, because it's pretty nifty. Got another hit in. Uh. Uh. There's one down. Now for the other one. Hi, how you doing? Ow. I am fat Kirby. How are you doing today? I don't understand what that that uh that accent was about, but I'm Fat Kirby. How are you doing today? Oops. 
I was waiting for him to come to a proper location, and I have done so, and so we shall continue on our way. And here's where I, I lose, and then uh, I, I feel sad because uh, I can only do so well in a double time. Here's our adventure in Beamland. Here's a bomb. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> Game over. Oh, I can continue. Yeah! Let's go. And here I was worried it was going to be a hardcore game where you only had four lives to beat the entire game. Which is the case with a lot of older games. Oh, that's that's Mike. Hey Mike, how you doing? I'm doing okay, thanks for asking. <laughs> oh, that Mike fellow, he's such a... He's such a... He's such a friendly neighborhood man. He's like, hi, I'm Mike. And that's that's basically all the interactions you have with Mike. He, he, he just says hi. And if you can remember this level from, um, from Nightmare in Dreamland, then congratulations, you remember this level from Nightmare in Dreamland. I could not evade Mr. Potato Man here. He was, he was being Mr. Potato Man. There's not much I could do about it. Uh, remember to tip over if you are in fact losing your balance because otherwise uh, you're gonna have a terrible time dealing with this invincibility oh this is this is the blah 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 power here's our our chili friend and I got a wife nice ah by the way this game isn't exactly lengthy just just letting you know uh, for future reference, I'm in a whale. It's very important to know that. So be sure to know that, and be sure to take your medicine if you need to. And now I, I'm fighting an air uh, blimp. Uh, I, I'm sure this was expected and understood. And I win. I have defeated the blimp. Heck yeah. Now we're moving on to bubbly clouds. Look at those bubbly clouds. Whoa, look at all those Kirby's. <laughs> uh. Also, there are holes. You need to be very careful of them. Otherwise, bad things are going to happen. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to stick as high as possible on the stage. And everything will work out wonderfully. Except these guys explode. And it's, it's really fun to dodge them. Also, umbrellas. Also, umbrellas. Alrighty. Ow. I'm just gonna float. <laughs> you can stop me from floating. But I am being more careful about the explodey power of umbrellas this time. Just gotta be careful of the umbrellas. They just want to eat your face and then you will be sad. Okay, I'll just walk through that guy because he's being a he's being a him. And I don't want to deal with that. Also, as I said before, power-ups don't exist in this game. Kirby just has the power to uh, suck up things and float in this one. I'm being very, very careful with my approach to this stage. As you can see there, I, I managed to get through this stage without dying. Uh, that area, I mean. Not not the stage. The stage, it would be quite impressive if I managed to, uh, you know, get through this area without taking unnecessary hits and stuff. How in the world? <laughs> ah! This is a very interesting area. I'm just gonna keep moving. Oh no! It's uh, how am I alive? Okay. It's Cracko Small being Cracko Small, and I have to um. I'm just gonna hang out in this corner. No. There we go. See, I am the brilliant scientist. I know how to how to juxtapose a, a banquet, something like that. Okay, to get this special treat, I have to go one lower, because there's no way to actually <laughs> uh, do any sort of sliding maneuver or anything. It's, it's real nice. Okay, here's the part where you be very careful. And then you go in here, and then you get the power to go blah, 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 And so you do. You go blah, 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 
That was that was the most intense part of this, and here's the part where you float upwards, and there's a secret in the moon. Hey, there's a secret in the moon. Being careful, and I missed out on a one up. Oh well. Okay, now it's time to fight Crackles here. He's he's a he's an intense boss where he he goes left and right, and he's like, I am Crackles. Look at my skill as I go left and right. And I swoop down, and then I swoop down again, and then I swoop down a third time, and then I die because of beam power. All right, Crackles, I'm gonna beat you. Oh, that is not spitting out dude attack. That is sparkly sparkle attack. I just have to be careful when he when he does the dive. And then try and get away from him before he uses sparkly sparkle attack. But sometimes I can't avoid the sparkly sparkle attack. It's quite sad. But sometimes I can avoid it just fine. And here's Mount DDD. Like I said, this is a short game. Anyway, for my first act, I'm going to slide my face. I'm gonna instant die. Cause, you know, I was down to zero lives and there was no way I was beating Mount D to D with one life. Anyway, welcome to this stage where you can just stick to the ceiling and then there's this guy and I touched him. So now I fight the boss. And then I run into the cube. Alrighty. Can you, can you, can you not be on the exact floor level that I am at? Thank you and have a lovely day. I keep accidentally swallowing this. It's okay. Everything's fine. I took out one of them, which means I can actually avoid them now. See? I avoided you well, and I have to redo the stage. So let's redo the stage. have to touch me and everything will be fine all right low 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 we have a we have a things to discuss I I touched you You. you need to be in a place I can hit you. Thank you. That that didn't work out. Let's, let's try again. There we go. One boss down. Three to go. This one I'm going to use the impressive strategy of sticking my head to the ceiling. It's a very, very difficult strategy, but I think it works out just fine. Hello, Wisples. How are you doing today? Unfortunately, in this game, sucking up two things at the same time doesn't increase the power of the strike. But that's fine. Let's fight a balloon man and get hit by a coconut because I did I barely saw it. Okay, I got to go down. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, how did I do that? <laughs> let's let's Oh, I got to I got to deal with this area first. All right, time to eat a sweet potato. The yam is no match for my uh, skill. Oh. All right, let's try that again. I avoided the coconut this time, so everything's good. Now I gotta deal with the uh, extremely difficult task of going through here without getting hurt. I, uh, that, that's exactly how I meant for that to go down. Ow. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Yam power! Got it. Alright, crackles. 
I gotta, I gotta float downwards. I got to float downwards. I, I gotta float downwards. I have floated downwards right into the enemy. Eh, okay, got it. Hey, Crackles, how you doing? Dang it. You did the quick one. Don't worry, Crackles. I know what I'm doing. Oh, goodness. You, you guys... Wah! You guys wad. Only I, Wario, can wah. Wah! Ha 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 ha! Wah! Hey. Hey, stop it. I did it. Now I fight King DDD <coughs> with a whole one health. Observe as this goes very well. Ta da! But if I'm lucky, I just have to fight DDD, not all of them. Thank you! Okay, let's fight DDD. Ah. Mr. Deedles. You need to be careful about your maneuvers, otherwise people will question you when it's your turn to do the dishes. Whoa, Mr. Deedles. You need to be careful now. I don't want to land in, in, in between your legs like that. That's, you know, that could be misconstrued and we don't want that, you know. Yeah, there you go. You know, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can do that elsewhere. Step it. Step it. Stop falling forward, Mr. DDD. You need to understand that I am not a tree. Yeah, just do the hoppy hop. Do the hoppy hop. Swing your legs from leg to right. One more hit. I did it, guys. I beat King Doodle Dolls. And now the stars are doing a wibbly wibble wobble. And then they they all decide to uh, uh, do something weird to Kirby and turn him into a giant bubble. The end. This was the adventure of Kirby in Dreamland Land Land. I hope you all enjoyed this adventure because it <laughs> didn't take me that long. Thanks, Bubby. I appreciate your help. Without you, this adventure wouldn't have been possible. Yes. Thank you for watch. And then the stars are like, okay, that's enough uh, doing strange things to Kirby's body. Bye-bye. Oh, I could do the extra game if I wanted, but I don't think I could beat the game with only three health. Thank you and have a good night.